Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, so we're going to cover the adjustment brush tool in this tutorial, and we still have exercise file 1 1 selected. So let's get into our adjustment brush drop down by hitting K. It automatically selects our tool, and now we can make adjustments. The adjustments brush tool works almost the exact same way as the graduated filter tool, except we have a few additional options because now we're painting in with a brush setting as opposed to using a graduated filter where you drag across an entire area of the image. So you have a little more control over what areas you're actually affecting with the adjustments brush tool. We have the exact same options that we did on the graduated filters tool down the board all the way down to color where we can add a specific color if we want to paint in. So we don't need to go over these options again, but let's go down a little bit further where we have brush settings. So our brush settings allow us to change our size, which we can do in several different ways. Once again, we can hit left bracket or right bracket to adjust the size of our, our brush. We can use the mouse wheel to scroll up and down. We can slide this up and down. We can also just type in a specific number if we want to. We can also adjust the feathering. And the feathering is that edge you see on the inside circle all the way to the outside circle. So the inside circle is the area where it's going to be 100% opaque. The outside circle is where it's going to feather too. So the larger the feather area, the more subtle that transition is going to be. So if you need to have very specific control over a little area and you don't want it to bleed at all, we need to pull the feather all the way down or as much as necessary to make it look correct. All right, so let's leave it at 100%. We also have the option for flow and for density, and there is a small difference between these two. Now flow affects basically, you can kind of consider flow as how fast the water is coming out of the hose. It controls the flow of the brush or how strong that brush is. So if we adjust this to say 40, then the brush is gonna be basically painting at 40% of its normal opaqueness, I guess, if that is a word. Now density is a little bit different. Density controls basically how much of an area can be affected. So for example, if I adjust density down to 50%, well that means we're painting in with a flow of 40%, but the maximum density it can actually apply to any specific area is limited to 50%. So it's not gonna get any stronger than that value. If we adjust this up to 100%, then we can keep painting in this area until the effect is basically applied to 100%. But we're painting at the speed of whatever flow that we have selected. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, just kind of play with it. Uh, keep in mind that if your flow is at 100% and your density is down at like 15 or 20%, then as you start painting, basically you're limited to that 20% density amount. And you can see that as we kind of paint in, we're not seeing that full effect when we're painting. So for simplicity's sake, just remember that flow controls the speed, whereas density controls the overall amount of an effect that can be applied to a specific area. Now lastly, this auto mask feature, what this tries to do is it tries to have Lightroom basically guess what areas you want to be adjusting. Now, auto mask works in certain situations and it doesn't work in other situations. Whenever you're making kind of stronger adjustment effects, auto mask can actually create little edges along kind of areas of contrast, similar to how an edge on like a mask would look if a mask is, is applied incorrectly. So in certain situations we will use auto mask, but in most situations we do leave it turned off. Now again, to create new brushes, we just hit new and we can paint over another area again using different settings. We can also edit either of these by clicking on them, selecting edit. While something is selected, if we hit delete, it'll remove it. And if we want to delete everything just like we would with a graduated filter, we just go down and we click reset and it removes all of them. Lastly, to reset any of these specific areas of this adjustment brush, you just hold down alt and it'll give you the option to hit reset to reset all the different process sliders. All right, guys, let's hit K to close up our adjustment brush. We're going to deal with adjustment brush in heavy detail when we get to our advanced processing tutorials. So don't worry, you guys will have this mastered by the time you're done with the training series.